Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today I'm going to tell a story from Ethiopia. It is about what do you do when you have been treated unfairly, when you have been wronged. The story is called The Fire on the Mountain and it goes like this. Once upon a time there was a guy called Arha and he worked for a rich man called Haptum. Haptum had all the money he could buy, whatever he wanted to. One day Arha was bringing him some wood for the fire and he wondered how much cold a man can stand. And so he asked Arha, he says, do you think a man could spend a night on the top of Mount Inotro, highest mountain there, uh, all night naked without clothes, without blankets? And um, Arha said, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Well, said Hapton to Arha, I'll make you a deal. If you can spend a night alone, naked there, and survive it then I will give you lots of land uh, and a house for you to farm and cattle I will give you all of that and Ara said oh really you would do that and Hapton said yes so that night Ara dreamt of having his own plot in his farm you know how people are so but then he realized that was a real silly thing of him to have accepted that challenge. And he went to a friend of his, a wise old man, and he said, this is what I have promised. The man listened and said, don't worry, I will help you. I will light a fire that you can see and just all the time, the whole night, look at that fire and feel its warmth and know that I did that for you. I'm there with you all that night. So Ara went up the mountain and Haptum the rich man sent three of his men to make sure that all the conditions were met. And so Ara took off his clothes and just stood there. Then it became night and sure enough he saw the, the fire on the mountain of his friend being lit up. And all night long he just looked at that fire. He got cold till his bones and he started shivering. But he kept looking at that fire and he kept thinking of the warmth of the promise of his friend. And eventually it became dawn and he was still alive. He sneezed and he coughed, put on his clothes and he went back to Hopton to claim his reward. And Hapton said, so how did you do it? And then he said, well, you know, a friend of mine made a fire and I could see the fire. And he said, oh, a fire. No, sorry, that was not part of the deal. I will not, you will not get anything from me. And I'm firing you also now. So there was Ara, empty handed. And he felt very unfairly treated. So he went again to his friend and he says, this, this and this happened. And his friend said, well, you should go see the judge. So they went to the judge. The judge listened to Arha, listened to Hapton. And said, well, Hapton said, there should be no help, no nothing, no fire. And there was a fire, so... Ara is, uh, Haptum shouldn't give you anything. Again, Ara was even more disappointed. He saw his whole dream go up in flames, so to speak. But the wise man said, don't worry, I have other friends that are more wiser than all the city judges together. And so he, they went to see another guy, also quite rich, called Hailu. And Hailu listened to the story and said, okay, I will help you. And he invited, he, he organized a big 
um, party, a big meal. And he invited the rich man Hopton, he invited the judge and he invited many others. And they could smell the delicious food uh, that was being prepared. But no food came. They kept smelling, there was somewhere delicious dishes being prepared, but there was only the smell. And then finally Hoptum says, Heidel, why did you invite us to this party? All we do is smell, but that doesn't fill our stomachs. And then Heidel said, well, if a faraway fire can keep your boy Arha warm, then surely the smell of this delicious food can fill your stomachs. And then Hoptom and the judge realized how wrong they had been. And Hoptom said, okay, I'll give Ara everything I promised, even more. And at that time, Ara and the wise man who had been listening in quietly left. And then the host Hailu served all his guests to the delicious dinner. Now, why am I telling you this story? I think all of us know what it feels to be unfairly treated, to have been wronged. The only thing I can say about that is, of course, by all means, be creative like our friend in the story I just told. And for the rest, be patient. Most of the things eventually sort itself out and the right things will happen. If you have any other suggestions, comments, ideas for a new story, I'm happy to hear them. Thank you.